Greetings fellow captains and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships with the High Hand. And uh, it's that time of, it's that time again. It's it's patch notes. Um if you're watching this beforehand, uh, this patch is about to release on the 20th of June uh 2002 and uh, it is the summer update, the high roll. Um obviously uh, with the uh, American Independence Day just around the corner, uh, that is obviously going to take uh you know a precedent uh, this update. So, uh, for the TLDR, uh, for the people who, you know, aren't interested, they just want to know the big news. Uh, so, uh, Independence Day uh, celebrations loaded with themed content. Uh, there's going to be a Philippines port, uh, the Lucky Six campaign with the USS Black, the Tier 7 destroyer, and the Tier 5 aircraft carrier Independence to choose between. That's right. Uh, much like the Friesland and Lo Yang campaign, uh, you pick one or the other, and the other one's going to cost you 10,000 doubloons. Some people might not be happy with that. Don't shoot the messenger, okay? It's not me. I didn't do it. It's not my not my decision. Uh, the pan-European tech tree line uh, is going to be fully researchable uh, with the Tier 7 uh Ostergutland uh, becoming available. I'm sorry for any of my Swedish followers out there um, if I've uh, butchered that. Um, there are some balance, cha balance changes, including the premium Italian cruisers, getting the SAP and tier seven preparation, uh, tier eight preparations. Uh, basically, uh, they've confirmed, um, so you, I'm not going to make you wait. Uh, not this update, it's not the June, the July update, the tier 8 uh, tech tree ships will be with us. Um, so yeah, we're, they're coming, and they're coming real soon. Uh, so we've uh, we've got very little time to, uh, to prepare for them. And I don't know why, but for some unknown reason... There's a page on my patch notes that just won't load. Uh, oh my god, this, thank you Wargaming for uh, making me look making me look silly. There we go, YK. <laughs> Apologies for that, I'll try and make this quick. So, Independence Day 2020, uh, time has come to celebrate freedom. The 4th of July festivities, I'll do this update and uh, here's a full list of what is coming. Uh, so they, there will be a free mission uh, with the Tier 3 Premium Battleship South Carolina as a reward. Uh, Wind Roses for the Tier 4 uh, to legendary uh, USS uh, US ships uh, active from the 4th of July through to the 25th. Uh, these are going to include some of the classic red, white, and blue camels uh, for tiers 4 to 6. Tiers 7 will give you the summer big crates. Uh, premium ships of tiers 4 to 5 will give you more camels. Premium tier 6s will give you promotion orders. Premium tier 7s will give you three promotion orders, uh, and the legendary ships will give you two big summer crates on your first win. Uh, a Liberty Package uh, platform bundle uh, will be free in store. Um, there'll be store discounts for triple XL bundles and more. Uh, uh, a total of 12 over three weeks with destroyers, cruisers, battleships, so on and so forth. Uh, a special uh, broad stripes and bright stars bureau project with a star spangled freedom skin for the Baltimore and Cleveland as the ultimate rewards. Um, more rewards await you. Uh, uh, a way you only way to these fancy skins, including stars and stripes permanent camels for the American tech tree destroyers. Uh, the Philippines port is coming. Um, so the Lucky Six campaign, uh, it's running over five weeks. We're going to get 100 milestones, two ships to choose from. Uh, so um, essentially, like I said, <laughs> you get uh, like the Friesland and Lo Yang campaign. Once you complete it, you get a choice between taking the uh, for the Admiralty back in, taking the Independence or the Black. Um, if you want the other one, there's two. Uh, they are bringing back hard mode. Uh, Black, the Black USS Black, is a American Fletcher class destroyer with radar, as we kind of expected. 
uh, due to the, uh, the 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 premium uh, that the version on the PC. Um, Independence is actually based on the Cleveland Crash Class Cruiser, uh, which offers uh, quite a traditional uh, American aircraft carrier experience with premium bonuses, solid mobility, uh, and squadrons that allow you to make multiple approaches uh, before having to, uh, having to get more planes airborne. Uh, the aircraft restore quite quickly, apparently. Uh, the main concerns are avoiding AA barrages and not letting the opposing forces find your ships. Uh, which the ship has no defense of its own, so it has no secondaries whatsoever. Um, typical Admiralty backing kind of stuff. So for free, you get 40 common boosters, 12 Type 1, 12 Type 2, and 12 Type 3 camos. You're going to get 8 red, white, and blue, uh, 262,500 commander XP, 900,000 credits, 800 global XP, 14 promotion orders, an insignia, accommodation, uh, eight days with a premium, two summer big crates, an American commander crate, uh, a patch background, a patch symbol, and commemorative flags. Uh, obviously, with the addition of the Admiralty back in for two and a half thousand doubloons, you are going to get 40 rare boosters, an additional 20 type one, two, and three camels, uh, 24 red, white, and blue camels. A further 137,500 Commander XP, uh, 2.85 million credits, 27,500 Global XP, 26 promotion orders, 3 insignias, 3 personal accommodations, 750 doubloons back, 7 big summer crates, and of course the choice between the USS Black or the USS Independence. If you want to take the two of them home, it is going to cost you an extra 10,000 doubloons. Right, swiftly moving on to the special Bureau, Bureau project. So the Broad Stripes and Bright Stars Time Limited project um, will reward you with a gorgeous skin for the Tier uh, 7 um, Baltimore and Cleveland. Um, in all fairness, um, but I think think that they're very think think Golden Eagle. Yeah, these are these are quite outlandish uh, by the images that they're showing here. Um, uh, with some more theme content along the way, but you have to make sure you have to finish this project by the twenty fifth of July. Um, it is not uh, this project will not get depreciated. Uh, it will not go in your archive after the twenty fifth of July. This project is done. It's gone. You're not going to see them again. Uh, so a little heads up, particularly for the uh, for the, for the Star Spangled Ballard fans out there. Uh, you're definitely going to want to make sure that you you put your time and effort into progressing to get those. Uh, so Pan European Fleet a year for good. Um, in all fairness, I don't think we really need to cover that anymore. Everyone's got a pretty good idea of what's coming there. Um, tier seven arrival preparations. So um, if you haven't heard by now and you've been living under a rock and you're not aware that tier 8's coming, tier 8's are coming. Um, uh, they go into... Uh, uh, to prepare for the uh, debate of the... Uh, debate? Debut of the mighty new uh, mighty new ships to legends. Um, make sure you fight to fight through the special daily missions for tier seven tech tree ships. These missions will reward you with a solid amount of additional XP to help you prepare your tier seven ships for a quicker voyage towards the new uh, the new tier. Uh, the first batch will cover four nations. Uh, you'll find out which ones when you see them in the mission requirements. Uh, and we'll relieve, uh, re reveal more details um, when the ship gets closer. So um, we've done an extensive stream on this the other day. So what I think we're going to see is Dmitry Donskoy, the Denli, and the... Um, oh, I've forgotten how you pronounce the battleship now. <laughs> the Sovetsky Soyez uh, for the Russians. That'll give us one tier. Uh, Buffalo, Summers, and... Possible some battleship. I couldn't really no, figure out what it was. I think it might be like conduct your Illinois. So basically, that's 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 three American ships. That's another nation. That's two. Uh, we're pretty sure we've seen the Yugamo, Awaki, and Izumo um, in there. So that's uh, 
three. And uh, what else did we see? So that's the Russians, that's the Americans, that's the Japanese. I think we kind of seen Alsace, St. Louis and Mogadol, but there was like four frames where you could see them in. Um, so, uh, no, actually, we def we know the rune is coming. It looks like the Frederick de Grobe was with it as well. So, yeah, that's going to be our fourth nation. So we're going to have Germans, Russians, uh, Americans. And I'm getting myself confused because I've been rattling my brains over this for so long. So Russians, the Germans, the Americans, and the Japanese, I think. I think, I think, speculatively, we're going to see... Uh, all new tier rates across all tech tree lines for those four nations. Uh, so they are doing some economy changes. Um, so the service fee for tier six has been reduced by ten thousand uh, credits from a hundred and hundred one hundred thousand one hundred one a hundred and one thousand two hundred and fifty credits to ninety one thousand hundred and twenty five. Uh, the service fee for tier 7s is being reduced from 136,000 to 122,400. And the premium tier 7s are being reduced from 136 to 95,200. But the big difference is the credit bonus for tier 7 premium ships is increasing from 15 to 55%. So you all know premium ships are the money makers. Um, tier 7s do make okay money at the moment, but this, this means they're going to make bank. Uh, so essentially what we're going to see is a bit of a shift from 5 and 6 being your money makers to 6 and 7 being the money making ships, particularly uh, with, with premium ships. Um, so yeah, there's that to look out for. Uh, so new ships, obviously, we've already mentioned the tier three, South Carolina uh, is coming. The first dreadnought battleship with eight 12 inch guns. Uh, slow and steady is the best way to describe her, I guess. Um, she will be uh, obtainable with her dedicated flag through a free mission available for completion from June the 24th through to July the 25th. Uh, you'll be able to pick it up in the store between the 24th and 18th of July. So I'm assuming it's going to be in one of the in in the free bundle that they mentioned. Uh, make sure you read more about her and her American peers, Black and Independence, uh, which will both feature in the campaign. Uh, upcoming campaign through the spyglass article okay so there is a pan european tier 4 premium battleship uh verobus Yutanus, i think that's how you pronounce it i'm gonna apologize for it basically uh she's a 12 gun uh ship with a new commander at her helm uh janko uh Vakovsk. Baby, uh, who will be obtainable in the store for 900,000 Commander XP or from the all new Pan European Commander crates that are coming out. Um, interestingly, Mr. Valchikov uh, was the last actual commander of the ship before she was given to the state of Slovene, Croats, and Serb. Uh, some balance changes uh, basically, USS Kid. Uh, is getting the defensive AA fire consumable. Uh, Nagato is finally getting a buff. Uh, they've they're upgrading her main battery, uh, buffing her main battery reload by three seconds. So it's coming down from 32 to 29 seconds. Whilst the AP shells maximum damage is increasing from 12,100 to 12,600. So a 500 damage buff per shell. Uh, the premium tier 7 cruiser Azuma, uh, which I think is actually not a bad ship, uh, is getting a significant buff. Uh, so the main battery shell grouping is improving by 7.5%. Main battery reload time is reducing from 24, uh, from 26 to 24. Uh, main battery dispersion is being reduced. Uh, main battery turret traverse uh, speed is being reduced. The 180 degree turn time is going to go from 40 seconds down to 36. 
uh, main battery HE shell damage going from 4,500 to 5,100, so a 600 damage buff per shell. And the AP is moving from 8,150 8, to 8,650 damage, so another 500 uh, damage uh, buff to the uh, AP. Main battery penetration uh, is going to be increased by 18.5% and the minimum ricochet angle is decreasing from 50 to 45 degrees. So yeah, big, big buffs for the uh, Azuma. Uh, the uh, Italian battleships are all getting a basically a blanket buff to their reload. Uh, the Roma is getting the smoke generator uh, to fall in line with the rest of the Italian battleships. Uh, it has uh, is having a HE shell damage buff from what from 5,100 to 5,800. Smoke generator is going to be added to slot three. Uh, damage control party consumable duration increased from 10 to 15 seconds, and it's also getting an extra repair party, taking that from three to four. Uh, just to note that your Roma. Uh, all of the, basically all of your uh, all of your uh, slots are going to reset uh, because it's not having three; it's having four now. So you know the catapult fighter, the spotter, the enhanced secondaries, um, which are moved from three to four, uh, they're going to reset to the default choice catapult fighter. So make sure you pay attention to that. Uh, Cavo is having a three second buff to its reload. Andrea Dori, same thing, three second buff, along with the Vittorio Venenti as well. Um, right, SAP for Italian cruisers. I guess this is the big one. Um, well, I, I don't know. I guess it depends on where you're coming from, but but it is. Um, this is. Uh, but just to confirm that this is a test. This is not a permanent change. This is subject to changes from the the data they gather from us and. Um, they are requesting for everyone to try out the uh, the Italian SAP as much as possible. So the Genova, the Duca da Costa, the Abruzzi and the Gorizia are all having a module that you can replace the HE with the SAP shells. Uh, and um, basically they think it's so good they are buffing, uh, sorry, buffing, <laughs> they are nerfing the Abruzzi. Uh, the Abruzzi's reload time will will increase from 7.5 to 10 seconds with the uh, the upgrade module. So in your ship modules, uh, much like uh, a couple of the, the destroyers, they give you the choice between different torpedoes, you'll have the choice between different armor pieces, uh, different shells. So it's HE or SAP. Um, so they expect this first iteration to uh, to be too strong. They think this it's going to cause the ships to outperform, but it's a bit too early to tell. So if you really like the sap as it is, play terribly so they don't puff it. <laughs> um, there's a couple of bug fixes. Uh, fix camel colouring inconsistencies where different uh, ship parts had different brightnesses of the paint job. Uh, added camels to the additional elements in the ship's deck that are missing the colouring. Uh, smoke screens now correctly stay visible on the tactical map whenever they're deployed. Uh, completed mission progress uh, with tasks that need to be uh, uh, achieved uh, in a single battle now show progress correctly. Uh, visual improvements for the water and weather for 20 maps. I didn't realize we had 20 maps. Uh, middle spawn point uh, for shards map uh, has been moved a bit away from the center. So whether that means backwards or off to the side, I guess I don't know. We're going to have to wait and find out. And the mobile version, you may now receive notifications, much like you do in the console versions. So keep an eye out for those. So that pretty much covers the patch notes. Um, quite an exciting update. I think everyone can agree. So we've got the American Independence Day stuff. Uh, we've got the we've got a bunch of new ships coming. Uh, the 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 confirmation the sap for the Italians the confirmation of the tier eight. Um, there's there's a lot to get excited about. So um, get up there in your tier sevens. 
get your get your XP tuning up and uh, and your money and uh, and yeah um <laughs> look forward to uh, to this update a lot um so obviously feel free to uh, to chat to me in the comments below I always stick around after these videos um and well I pay attention for the next couple of days depending on how busy I am at least uh thank you very much for stopping by and of course as always until next time Take care.